What's up, everybody? It's your favorite gay-looking straight boy, Hunter Avalone here, back with another video. I'm not gonna lie, tonight I'm sitting here, I was supposed to have a debate with someone on big tech censorship, turned out they weren't interested in debating, so I left, and now I'm sitting here thinking, I gotta make a video about something, so I go on YouTube, I'm browsing around, and I stumble across Michael Knucklehead. I'm- wait, I'm sorry. Michael Knowles. He published a video seething, crying, even if you will, about a <gasps> commercial featuring a transgender person. Oh, the horror! Keep in mind that Michael Knowles titled this video, This Commercial Should Be Banned From The Internet. So Michael Knowles, the guy who is very loud, about how bad big tech censorship is, is now actually advocating for big tech to censor a commercial that he doesn't like. So let's go ahead and actually check out the commercial first, okay? All right, so I think I already know why Michael Knowles is triggered AF about this commercial. For LGBTQ kids, hair is more than how you look. Uh, okay, so far I see no issue with this. LGBTQ kids exist. I know for a lot of us, me included, growing up, I didn't really have to think about what my gender was. I never felt like there was a disconnect there, but that can absolutely happen for LGBT youth. The trans kids exist and can suffer from gender dysphoria. In fact, it's been documented repeatedly. We give kids ADHD medication. We recognize that youth can suffer from certain mental illness. For example, this San Diego clinic finds high need for treatment of transgender youth. So obviously the knowledge that transgender youth exist has been around now for a little while. So basically throughout the commercial, they just talk about how this girl happens to be a transgender girl and she's really creative and they're a lesbian couple. So yeah, a lot of people existing and uh, living their lives freely, which is bound to make Michael Knowles begin seething with anger. I watched this entire commercial, those who make us feel seen, make us feel loved. It's like a sweet little pro-LGBTQ commercial. Nowhere at all does this talk about hormone therapy or puberty blockers or anything else. So yeah, commercial completely harmless. Let's go ahead and hear Michael Knowles cry about it for seven minutes. This is now being pushed on children. There was, this is the most not. disturbing commercial I've ever seen. I have a little series on my YouTube channel. <laughs> of woke. Okay, eight seconds in, I'm sorry. The most disturbing commercial you've ever seen? Is he forgetting about the one where the car was driving and the zombie jumps up in front of the camera? Uh, but we do have to cover it because it, the, the issue really matters. This is a commercial from Pantene, the, the shampoo company, uh, n n now defending, mainstreaming the <gasps> sexual abuse of children. It Hold on. Whoa. Really hyperbolic loaded language here. Keep in mind, I haven't even watched this video at all. Okay. So, uh, sexual abuse of children. Did you watch the same commercial we just looked at? This is about a transgender girl. She even talks about like when she began expressing that she might identify differently. Keep in mind that when transgender youth socially transition, which is growing their hair out, which again, the commercial literally talks about right here. She says it made me feel good and confident. She immediately wanted to grow her hair out. Facts and logic. This study right here shows that transgender children reported depression and self-worth that did not differ from their matched control or sibling peers, and they reported marginally higher anxiety, so just slightly more compared with national averages. Transgender children showed typical rates of depression and marginally higher rates of anxiety. These findings are in striking contrast to previous work with gender non-conforming children who had not socially transitioned, which found very high rates of depression and anxiety. So Michael Knowles, the abuse would be ignoring your child when they express that they're transgender and refusing to let them simply grow their hair out or wear a dress. Depriving trans youth of that, that 
is the abuse. That contributes to depression, anxiety, and suicidality. Not validating their gender identity. She was out in the community wearing the clothing she wanted in her hair, and she kind of was herself. And that was the first day where I saw her. Pause it right there. Pause it right there. Wow. First of all, I don't know how these lesbian women came to have custody of this girl. Something tells me they didn't make her the old fashioned way. I'm sorry. See how confusing this is? No. I don't know how these lesbian women. What? So because you get, wait, because Michael Knowles is too stupid to understand how a lesbian relationship works. Now that somehow invalidates it. Michael, you realize that statistically LGBT parents are far more likely to adopt. Obviously. Aren't you pro-life? That's that's a good thing overall, right? This woman said, yeah, I took my little boy out and dressed him up as a girl. Nope, not and, what they said. And, and that's when she was herself. The commercial actually explicitly talked about how the girl came to the parents and said that they identified as a girl. He's just advocating against the medical consensus on the best way to help transgender youth alleviate gender dysphoria, to lower the suicide rate. This woman is saying that this child, however she came to be raising this child, that this woman didn't, didn't see the child when the little boy was still dressing like a little boy. Only when the little boy allowed this woman to dress him up as a little girl, only then did this woman see the child and accept. Okay, I'm sorry. I I haven't watched this yet, so you're just getting my raw reaction to this. His head is like an uncharitability factory. It just goes in one ear and then just gets mushed up, construed into some monstrous theme, and then spat out the other end. What are you fucking talking about, Michael Knowles, with your verbal diarrhea right now? The mom was like, yeah, when I, I saw her being herself, she seemed more comfortable, and that was just, that was when I saw her. He's now interpreting that as, This child was dead to me until they started identifying in which the way I commanded. She has always been super gender creative. Pause. And she has always been super gender creative. So obviously that's a term that doesn't mean anything. Just, I suppose it could mean confused. But what, what do we mean always? From, from the time that the little boy was a very little baby? When the little boy didn't have agency? <laughs> this, the is, boy... this is what I mean, dude. This is what I mean with the uncharitability factory. I think that's what Michael Knowles' brain is. You know, my kid, he's always really enjoyed playing with trains. What do you mean by always? Are you saying that literally since the moment the sperm hit the egg, you saw the fetus literally going chugga chugga choo choo? Was so suggestible to all the, all the influences around. What influences? Lesbian? Th their, their gender identity isn't different. That's a sexuality. So what influence? What this is, is accepting parents who, when their child expressed the fact that they were transgender, most likely did what most parents of transgender youth do. They take their child to see a doctor and to see a therapist and the medical consensus what you're supposed to do in this situation is to allow your trans child, again, we're talking about like the age of like 9, 10, 11, and 12, socially transition. If they want to wear a dress and they want to grow their hair out, again, who cares? Gender creative, or was that these women with a very radical view of sexuality imposing that view on this young all, all he is is just like asking questions being nefarious look at michael knoll sitting here right here guys could this be michael knoll sitting here or perhaps could ben shapiro be standing right behind him with a gun to his head forcing him to say all of this against his will and also this idea that parents are like forcing this transgender identity on their children is so patently untrue, it's not even borne out in the data. I know the Daily Wire would never report actual statistics. LGBT youth are significantly 2.2 times more likely to experience homelessness 
compared to cisgender and heterosexual youth. One of these cited possible discrepancies is being kicked out of the home by unwelcoming and openly hostile families. So what Michael Knowles is doing is appealing to this straw man fantasy, and he's trying to make his audience afraid. That's all he's trying to do. The actual data shows that it's far more likely for trans people to be kicked out of their home. Families are more likely to be hostile towards their children for being transgender rather than force this trans identity onto them. Once she told us that she identified as a girl, right she immediately wanted to grow her hair out. So she told them. It made me feel good and confident and it made my insides match my outsides. Okay. All right, I can't take any more. Oh, are you... <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Seeing a child being happy. Oh God, please turn it off. This is just one of many young trans people talking about their experiences for a little heartwarming pro LGBT virtue signal for this commercial. This right here is enough for Michael Knowles to just suspend his entire beliefs when it comes to big tech censorship so that he can now advocate for big tech censorship because God forbid a commercial show a transgender child being happy. The little girl is literally expressing the fact that they felt more confident. They felt happier, which is again, borne out in multiple different studies. This is medical consensus. So what we're actually witnessing right now is Michael Knowles advocating for the censorship of facts. He has become the snowflake. He is the SJW. Okay, that's what you're gonna say. We've got the whole studio set up here. Talk about how now your insides are matching your outsides, right? No. This, is, this is not an organic moment. <laughs> you don't set up a film shoot organically. No film shoot is organic? Maybe unless it's a documentary? What? If this is what capitalism is, I'm out. I'm out. Get me out of there. Okay. But of course this is not, frankly, the word capitalism is kind of silly. So it's, it's a word that was popularized by Karl Marx. First of all, that's irrelevant if it was popularized by Karl Marx. It absolutely is capitalism. Corporations are trying to get woke points. They're virtue signaling. Sure, there's no doubt about it, but that's what every corporation does every single time they advertise any time. So it is capitalism, but it's kind of funny that he says if that's capitalism, just forget about it. It's like, that's where he draws the line transgender people existing. Oh God, he's willing to throw out capitalism. He's willing to go full-blown commie. He's willing to go full-blown Marxist censorship China. I mean, this guy, like he has no fucking morals. He gets triggered and then just throws them all out the window. These women, what they are doing and, and how they are abusing this child should be criminal. This should not be legal. They should be in prison for this in a just society. Now, not only has he advocated for censorship and just getting rid of capitalism, he is now also advocating throwing these people in prison. So state intervention, essentially, because these people abided by the medical backed standards. Michael Knowles is like an authoritarian SJW snowflake. Well, there you guys have it. I didn't even watch this video ahead of time. And I gotta be honest, I am absolutely shocked and kind of appalled at this completely baseless fucking retard degenerate who literally is willing to throw out virtually every moral that he claims to hold when he sees trans people. I can't imagine being that triggered. Whew. Please give this video a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. I want to go wash my hair with some Pantene shampoo.